All right then, so today we are looking at the error or bug, I think it is, that we get in when importing an FBX animation into Unreal Engine 5. I'm using 5.03. Um, I think from what I've read is still present in 5.1, but I'm not sure. Um, so I'm gonna show you the workaround anyway of how to do it until they actually fix the bug. Stay tuned. All right, so we're in Unreal. Uh, I'll show you the error first. These are the animations here that were fine. These are the ones that gave me errors. So let's go with Salute. Let's put that in. Uh, select my mannequin, which is that one. Click Import, and I get this error. Fail to import, and I click OK, and you get this error. Animation length 2.792 is not compatible with import frame rate 30 frames per second, subframe 0.75. Animation has to be frame border aligned what does that mean well uh what we're going to need to do is go into blender and take this animation in so um so let's open up blender and we're going to go to import uh, fbx we're going to go to my file which is error salute double click it open it up there it is we're going to switch the animation tab up the top um, this box, I don't know why it comes up like this. I'm going to change it to the non-linear animation. Now, these are the keyframes down here. When you zoom in, look what you find. The animation, the keyframes are not actually snapped to the keyframes, if that makes sense. They're kind of off-key, if that's the right term. So these, I think, is what's throwing the error. They're kind of uh, all over the place. So... If you press G on, your key, on the keyboard, it'll snap them all to the nearest frame and then left click to drop. Now, I like to start them on zero, so I'm going to press G again. I'm going to move my mouse until they go to, to zero there. That's the way I like to do it. I'm not sure if that's it needed for this, but I like to do that. And then you're going to look at your last frame, which is 70. I'm going to just plop that in there. 70 on the end frame. And the other thing you need to check because you will throw an error sometimes, sometimes not, is the frame rate. So go to your output properties and go to frame rate, and it should be probably 30, maybe 60 if you're using animation at 60. But my, I believe mine are 30, so uh, I'm going to set it there. And then up here, you need to click this little down thing to, to add the animation to the stack. And then down here, oh man. Right, where there's got dope sheet, you want to select action editor, and then in that little box, select your animation there, so it's back on the screen. And that's it. So let's go to export, FBX. We're gonna go to, um, I'm gonna select that just to get the name filled out in there, but I'm gonna back up and put it in this folder. So over here, what we're gonna do is go to selected objects only, armature only, Go to the armature, deselect add leaf bones because you don't really want them. And then in the animation, deselect all actions. If you don't, when you drag it into Unreal, you'll end up with like two files. It's a bit weird. So just deselect that because you only want this one action. And then click export. And then once that's done, we're going to go in here. Where did I save it? In this file. La, 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 la. Salute. There it is. So I'm going to drag this in now, and hopefully this should work. Uh, select my skeleton, that one. Click import. Boom. Job done. There it is. Uh, we can open it up. <laughs> Ignore my assets that I've got there. So I can switch this to my character mesh if I want to. And uh, everything's working, and it's looping correctly, and everything's fine. So that is it, guys. It doesn't take long. Once you've done it once or twice, you can do it in seconds. Um... So that's it. That's how to do it. It seems to work for me. Uh, I thought I'd share it. There you go. Uh, catch you next time. Ciao, blow.